In today's video, we are going to talk about Jupiter, how you can observe it, when will be the best time to see it and what surface features Jupiter offers and how you can even see it without a telescope. So without wasting any more time, let's begin this video. Jupiter is a very easy target to see through a telescope. It was the very first planet that I myself saw with my telescope. Jupiter is relatively easy to locate and appears large and brighter to naked eye than the surrounding stars. It will reach opposition on 26 September 2022. This will be the best time to observe this planet. Any small telescope with an aperture of about 60 mm to 90 mm will be able to reveal Jupiter's four brightest moons as well as planets cloud belts and zones. During June and July, Jupiter will be visible in late night. Its long-awaited return to evening skies take place in August, after which it will reach opposition in September. In months of August and September, just look southeast after sunset and you will find a very bright star. That will be planet Jupiter. If you don't have a telescope, then also you can see Jupiter. As mentioned earlier, Jupiter is a bright object which makes it easier to see with the naked eye. Even when you look roughly in the right place, Jupiter is the brightest star unless Venus happened to be close by. There are so many cool features to see on and around Jupiter that you can quickly become mesmerized by it all. It is almost if you are staring at a beautiful colorful marble, especially when you are observing through a large aperture telescope to a medium to high magnification. You can see four of the brightest Galilean moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. These moons will appear as tiny pinpoints of light at low power through most telescopes. But at higher magnification, they will begin to appear as smaller disks. You can even see how fast these moons travel around Jupiter. You can even see them orbiting around Jupiter in real time, especially Io, whose orbital period is just 42 hours. Sometimes you'll see these moons passing in front or behind of planet disappear for a while only to reappear on the other side. At times, a moon may cast its shadow on Jupiter's cloud and appear as a tiny black dot, slowly moving across the planet as the hours goes by. When we observe Jupiter, we are looking at the top layer of its cloud. Cloud bands have different temperatures and chemical makeup that results in different colors. Dark colored bands are known as belts while light color bands are zones. The reddish clouds are found at higher altitudes while the brown cream colored clouds are found at middle level regions. Jupiter's famous great red spot is also visible through an amateur telescope. Located in Jupiter's southern hemisphere, the GRS is a storm measuring nearly 24,000 kilometers in diameter and is large enough to contain at least two Earths side by side. It has been observed for at least 350 years. The winds in this area can reach over 430 kilometers per hour, faster than Earth's strongest hurricane. The GRS will sometimes be behind the planet, so you will need to be patient and wait for it to rotate back into view. The mighty planet Jupiter is one of the most exciting planets to observe through a telescope. It is big, bright and rotates rapidly. Jupiter's storms are always in a constant motion while its four bright moons are racing around the planet. And of course, it has the most distinct markings of the planet in the solar system, the Great Red Spot. Jupiter is an imaging and visual astronomer's dream as its appearance is constantly changing night after night. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.